Now the $100,000 question is, do you really have to paint the ceiling? Well, this was a brand new house. You see the walls, we haven't touched the walls yet. See how they're kind of, oh, I don't know, maybe a, 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 an off-white yellow, yellow tone to it. And the ceiling, if you look at the line up here, if you look at the line, it almost has a blue, you know, up on the wall right there. It almost looks like it's got a little blue in it. Yeah, it does have a little blue. It's got a little light gray in it. But when you get the overall ceiling done, it still looks white. And it looks really good. That's a good color that you picked out, Tony. He's, he wanted to do that because um, once we painted the walls, we we're going to paint the walls that color. Then you, you could imagine having the ceiling off white and you know, lots of people do that. Lots of people never really think about painting the ceiling. They just think, okay, it's a white ceiling and that's the only choice I have. But if, but you know, you might want to think about it. If you got something that's slightly different color than the ceiling, you know, for your walls, you might want to think about painting the ceiling too. And it might go with your color palette on whatever you decide for your, your, uh, your accent walls and the, the color that you're going to paint on uh, the ceiling or the regular standard walls. Because see, that's the color. This is the color right here that we're painting all the walls and the ceiling. Okay, and then these two are in the same, kind of the same family palette of colors of the green. It kind of blends with these other two colors and this, this uh, gray kind of is the same family. So that's why we're doing the ceiling too. And it's really turning out good. And I'm done with painting the ceiling. Tony has to do the cut in. Hey, you're up to it? I'm ready. You can do it. He can do it. And see, the cut is not going to be that hard. And in fact, we really don't have to cut in most of the ceiling until after I paint the walls because the walls are going to be the same color. Okay, so I'm going to take the paint right up with my mini roller. I'm going to use the mini roller on the walls too. Yeah, newsflash, I'm not using the nine inch roller. I'm using the mini roller because I have more control. I can, I can get up in tight spots and have a nice, clean finish to it. The only wall that really has to be cut in is this one here. Um, we're going to have an accent color. This is going to be that green, that greenish tone. And so we're going to have to cut it in up there. And what we may do is I'm going to have Tony cut that in. And even if he gets a little bit of that paint, the ceiling paint on the wall, that's going to be okay because then we're going to go back and we're going to paint the, the wall green. Okay. Then we can decide whether or not we want to cut that in freehand up there or more than likely I'll have them put some frog tape or some blue tape up against the ceiling. That's after the ceiling paint is dry, probably tomorrow or something like that. We'll put the, the blue tape up there because it's only going to be up there for a little bit and then we'll, we'll paint up there with the paintbrush and that'll be easy. Then you pull that tape down and oh, you're going to have a nice straight line as straight as your masking tape though. Okay. And then around the edges, we're going to See, we got the bull-nosed edge here, and because the wall, we're facing it straight on, it's like, okay, where are we going to end the lines? You don't want to end the line right there, because then you're going to see this little bit right there. And, and it's really difficult to go right on the point. I mean, you could do right on the point of the bull-nose if you wanted, and that might be something that we might think about doing. But uh, the bull-nose trim... The corner bead has a, a definite line on it on the sides. You see that that line? There's kind of like a line there, and um, there's one on this side. So we may take the masking tape and just use this as the line, and we may take the green paint and overlap the bonos all the way over to this edge. Okay, that way when we're in this room here looking forward, we don't see any of this other edge. Okay, but you can do it either way. All right, there's a tip for you.